एवरीवन, आई एम प्रीति राठी गुप्ता फाउंडर ऑफ लक्ष्मी इंडिया फर्स्ट फाइनेंशियल प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर वुमेन एंड योर होस्ट फॉर द रिच रेसिपीज पॉडकास्ट वेर वी सर्व अप इंपावरिंग कॉन्वर्जेशन टू हेल्प यू टेक कंट्रोल ऑफ योर फाइनेंशियल जर्नी टूडे वी हैव नॉट वन बट टू अमेजिंग गेस्ट who are making waves in the world of content creation Samira Reddy and Manjuri Verde better known as Messi Mama and Sassy Sauce Samira a celebrated actor turned digital creator is inspiring women everywhere by breaking stereotypes around body image and mental well-being while Manjuri is an artist and a content creator empowering women to embrace financial independence with confidence Together they're shaping the way women think about personal empowerment balance and self-worth. Samira and Manjuri so excited to have you here. <laughs> so many things she's I want to ask. She's most excited. <laughs> Preeti she's going to teach you a lot of things on investment. Investment. Yes. yes. Of course. <laughs> But guys, investments can wait. I actually have a question which has been on my mind ever since I've seen you to your reels together. Right? Is it for real? Is it No, no, no. That I'm I'm No, I, I secretly want to just. She annoys the hell out of me. It's all an act. Well, that's a, isn't that a quintessential mother-in-law, daughter-in-law story, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. No, I actually like her. In fact, on the flight here, we laughed so much that the air hostess was just staring at us, We're busy giggling at our own jokes. So we actually have a lot of fun with each other. She's a firebrand sometimes, and I think she behaved very badly somewhere, and she was telling me about it. We could do nothing but laugh. laugh. <laughs> That's great but tell me I mean very curious to know so when you learned this is the woman in your son's life and Samira when you learned this is the mother in your to be husband's life how was that and what were the first 6 months like i'd okay. love to know that you go first first of all akshay would get her on our dates <laughs> and this is something i could not and he like you know my mother is single she's a divorcee so over the weekends which i used We to shoot we always had gone for movies my son and i ah huh? women are you listening <laughs> for six months of my life i had the mother come for movies he's like no i have to take my mother for the movie i was like, what sweet. are we doing <laughs> sweet I, I to, sweet please my i was like oh my Why god i'm holding hands <laughs> yeah seriously <laughs> then within the second week she says oh i just want you to know he's never been able to last with any girl Okay. okay, you said that. Yeah, but then he, you gave me a he list had of a whole all line of girlfriends. Yeah, yeah. See, this I is what I mean. Admit. He had a whole line of girls, <laughs> and uh, you know his and both. He was like, oh, uh, she was like, oh, uh, the track record is that you know <laughs> he sort of doesn't last more than six months. Mm-hmm. I just want to tell you, like, I want to be there for you. I'm your girl. Like, I'm with you. And I was like, <laughs> what is this nonsense? So the funny part is, from the beginning, it was very quirky. Mm-hmm. It was very easy. She was okay if I spent the night there. and that was i'll tell you i was 32 akshay was 30 yeah. yeah and she's just like please you're on your 30s i'm not dumb and what was interesting is that she was very traditional and then she was very open minded and this combination was a bit confusing for me also there was no dikhawa there and yes. so it was interesting it was definitely different but our journey honestly began after the marriage after she understood how Uh, easy i am to be with how amazing i am how not alpha i am and how not how over, alpha and not stop, stop. <laughs> not overbearing i am how alpha and she said i have to love this girl and how modest you are <laughs> <laughs> yeah so so i'll tell you what happened when uh, she came into our life i was i had been divorced for a long time hmm. i had my own home hmm. my own home okay it was in warsaw a beautiful little flat so economically i was very independent and very secure mm. so it didn't matter that she was an actress wow. you know it just didn't matter so i think that because we are on a forum where we're talking economics for women absolutely i think that grounding put us on the same footing, footing she yeah. was earning i had my own home I think that worked for me also. We didn't have men yeah. around telling us what to do or ah, controlling yes, us or controlling yes. our money. You did. Uh-huh. You had my son. <laughs> <laughs> When did I ever control anything? I, I was. I was. No, the, no, no. Just because you're single doesn't mean anything. <laughs> I'm trying to say yeah. that what the fact is that everything I've built, include every asset I have. Yeah. I'm very proud to say, not a penny has come from my dad. Yeah. So even when Happiness. we talk about my portfolio. 
this is actually outside of what I might inherit, and I say might always, yeah. from my family side. Uh, and, and hers is an incredible yeah. story of how <laughs> everything she has was post her divorce and she really built it all. Yeah. No, so, so when we'll, we both we'll, met, we yeah. really, it was equals. So we'll, we'll come back to her <laughs> journey as well and yours and the financial journey. Sure. But I think what you've put across is a very important point that yeah. when you are economically secure, yeah. I think the ability to build such a strong relationship yes. uh, and traditionally easier. a rela yeah. relationship which is known to be you know, kind of yeah. edgy, right? You come yeah. in with an overhang, yeah. but you guys have so beautifully uh, built that. Thank That's you. amazing. Thank, thank you, you for starting this. No, thank on, you. <laughs> starting this podcast on this note because <laughs> you've set the tone already, yeah. right? Samira, when so I'm. This is fangirl moment, right? Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> uh, I think I've when I've watched you in films uh, from then to now, it has been very clear that you've always been unconventional and which is where that you know the huge admiration comes in is how you were yourself even when you were doing films or when you switched careers left your uh, left the films got married uh, and then now we see you on reel in a completely different <laughs> avatar but more importantly i think the fact that you're so authentic um, and that's very very rare to see particularly the profession that you've been in. Yeah, she's uh, built her own brand from scratch zero, which is absolutely. amazing. Absolutely. Yeah. I think what we want is for every woman in India, I think you give a new meaning to, there's so much being said about love yourself, right? And that's the right meaning to love yourself, where you're saying... You're being selfish. Selfish, but yeah. selfish where you're putting yourself first in terms of really also bringing balance in your life, but also your viewers, right? People who actually look at you feel, yeah. okay, this is, oh, thank God there's a real world, right? Uh, so thank you for bringing that balance to the rest <laughs> of the world. Um, it's amazing. I love watching your reels and I'm just... and, and Everybody say, says we're, we're a stress buster. <laughs> yeah. I think that is really like, I think that's the best thing I hear. But yeah. she's an amazing content creator. Yes. Right from the thought we process to actually executing it to shooting our, both of us together, to editing the entire thing, writing captions, putting it out there. She does it all. I just dress up like this and come. And I say, went from having, I, a, yeah, I went from having, now she's a diva. Yeah. In the, in the film line, I had a spot boy. I had a stylist. I had a secretary. I had someone who would jab my face. Yeah. And you know, I really was spoiled because yeah. that's the industry we're in. Yeah. Correct. You know, when you sit to eat, I would literally have someone put a handkerchief on my clothes. And the, and the clothes dada used to come and try to protect the dresses so we could eat without dropping on the dress. Yeah. To that level of, your shoes were kept in front of you. From there, today I am, I am Raju guide, I am everything in one, I am the yeah. photographer, cameraman, yeah. I'm dabbing her face and everyone thinks we have this team and we literally have one selfie stick. We are just the two of us. And it's just the two of us having so a blast, cute. which is why our content is so free because there's nonsense going, first of all you have to stop sometimes because we're laughing so much and we're having a good time. Yeah. When that pressure is not there then it shows on camera and people feed off that. What is it today? Preeti, you tell me that we're here today for good energy. Right. One Absolutely. thing is just to say women supporting women, hashtag, hashtag self-love, hashtag, yeah. hashtag. Are you, uh, walk the walk, talk the talk. Talk the walk. You yeah. know? Walk the talk. Yeah. 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 So I'm uh, contrary to what everybody thinks. I'm a very shy, quiet person. I've heard Nobody about that. Say. And she's it's come super to that. boring. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, she's but really, she's very I can be in the house reading a book, watching my Netflix, listening to my music for five, six days and not step out the front door. But something That's, happens when the camera comes on, huh? Yeah, when the camera comes, I'm willing. I'm willing and I'm ready to yeah. go. We can see that. So yeah. the thing is that the comfort levels, like uh, today I'm sitting here with you. I have not done anything like this before. Yeah. At home, we do it together. So the comfort level is super happy right so i'm able to i don't know give her whatever she wants yeah. she'll make me do it 20 times if she's not happy but it's okay yeah we're at home as long as you're enjoying it yeah. and as long yeah. as it's as long as it's just the two of us yeah i can do anything <laughs> great that's amazing <laughs> but manjuri coming back and i've heard this in in like a couple of your interviews or you've mentioned uh your journey from really being a single mother yeah uh 
you know and and we'll bring it back i think what we want to put into context is again the economic stability yeah, yeah. the financial stability correct so we have on our lakshmi community we actually do open forums and two weeks back we did an open forum uh, with just single mothers and the stories were i came back that evening thinking oh my god like yeah, how did they manage how, and how yeah. how empower like yeah. not just how inspiring yeah, you know it. your yeah. journey uh, obviously before samira now <laughs> So the thing is that for whatever reasons we decided to split we both went and sat in that a family court and did it together. So at that point of time there was no fighting there was no acid there was nothing. It was done. But uh, my children were I think about 15 and 17 or something like that or maybe a year older. Yeah. I was moving into my father's house. I didn't want to take the children because I had no money of my own. Right. I was leaving the children behind. So my first thought and action was to not take a single penny during the divorce. Hmm. My family was upset and thing but I said no. I'm leaving my children behind. I ask any man to pay money and then I leave with the kids. There's going to be a fight. I'm not fond of confrontations. I said I don't want the money. You look after the kids. I will leave and I will take care of myself. So that was my first major action in my life with I had no idea what the future would be like. That's how it started. But if you look back, would you have done anything different particularly no. for your own financial stability? No. No? No. Samira, your input. This oh, is where I'm wanting the daughter-in-law to come in. <laughs> And See how her I, thoughts are and I don't, I am, I'm not I, going to come back on, I think it's not yeah. about, I think a divorce settlement is between a man and a woman. It, it definitely is, is, but I will tell you something. <laughs> yeah. Uh, times, at, at those times, see today things are very different. Why is your community, the Lakshmi community so important I think today? Because you're giving an insight to our new age women, yeah. this generation. That generation didn't have it. Yeah. Our generation is listening. and this is where i think the communities should come together today to educate women that you have to have something i agree there i something. think from this from the age of 18 onwards every young girl yeah should put in money somewhere for herself and Absolutely. if it's a sip that yes simple yeah i would say you have I, a daughter or a son yeah start small and every you put up put a 1000 rupees a yeah. month My right. God, you that, start yes. with that. So and we'll 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 definitely come to that. Yeah, But I think the one. important, you know, and this is something that we actually talk to women and we tell every woman that a marriage is an equal partnership. It is, and it's an equal partnership even when it comes to money. Uh, maybe there's one person earning. but there is another person supporting which yeah. is why a woman earning or being a homemaker it's very important to manage finances jointly and to ensure financial security of each person in the family no correct what that does we've realized is that yeah. even tomorrow if you want to something's not working the marriage and you want to walk away yeah. then there is absolutely no uh, conflict on saying True. you know okay money is not the reason right yes, yeah. and in fact interestingly enough majority of marriages in india fall apart because of financial conflicts oh really okay so well mine wasn't mine was emotional but yeah but I guess. but like she's saying times today because where i think there there are financial conflicts and there are ways to manage money but yeah. thank you for putting that out but you know why there's financial conflict because when you are getting married you're more worried about all the other nonsense what sari you're wearing how much jewelry you're getting you're not really talking about how you want yeah. your children to be brought up yeah do you even want children what is my financial status in this family how much am i going to be a part of the decision making for my children for myself and for this household and even though i am a homemaker that is a job no no today definitely i job. understand it is a 50% and job exactly yeah. so this in my opinion is something when i when couples are getting married and they come to me oh my god yeah. samira you're married 10 years you know what do you want to tell us and i say figure out how so on that yeah i'm going to stop you because yeah. on that i really want to today any young girl who is looking to get married keeping aside i want a sabhya sachi lenga etc all of that yeah. right 
what what are the few important questions that she needs to ask and i will tell you this because women feel very shy asking they are intimidated that and they and you obviously want to put yeah. your best foot forward so yeah. the social conditioning is that if you ask about money you'll be considered a gold digger mm. so i, I should not that. ask See, money that's why i did not ask i did not ask when i left because the minute you ask for money again we have a difference of opinion on that me and preeti are going to have another show <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just to <laughs> come down and answer that kilo <laughs> kilo no, to, to, to your point the, what okay. are the things that women don't ask which yeah. they should so i think the women of today have changed so first yeah. young girl understand yeah. what you want and then secondly find a man who is wanting to be that equal partner with you maybe other check boxes safe safe check boxes will fit right. oh wonderful family so much you know they're going to put so much on me and there's such a big house and car and this and that forget about all that is that going to be a fancy cage right is that going to be trophy wife is that what you even want and if your man and that man that who is listening to you that young boy who you want to marry is on your same page and giving you that response to these questions then he is your man right if he is going to say nahi lekin mummy ne kaha ki ye sab nahi puchna chahiye <laughs> run <laughs> run for your life <laughs> absolutely and i i think that what that, that show on the matchmaking show talks about that and it was very interesting i think it's entertaining for that but i think financial compatibility is a real thing it is and how do you want to even do expenses absolutely do you want to have a joint account uh do you want to have a balance in the system where when some one is earning more one is earning less or putting away money for even a homemaker just so that she has something of her own you can't call it pocket money <laughs> i find that ridiculous it's ridiculous yeah i give my how my wife kharcha and i see these reels yeah. also ghar kharcha ghar ka kharcha ghar ka kharcha ke liye le lo oh wow i'm going to buy myself a bag <laughs> why are you putting that in yourself in that position right. woman you run this house you're the ceo of yeah. the house you are in charge of the food your children your clothing the this that that is not pocket money you no know, like this here woman's work is never done right yes. we never rest never true no and this is something that i think before marriage every girl needs to speak to her yeah. you know uh, prospective husband is do we think alike when it comes to how we are going to spend our money yeah sure um, how we are going to save it what we are going to spend it on what are our financial goals because what i don't know about a person till i actually marry him is you know is he somebody who is very reckless with money yeah. or too stingy with money then by the way samira i have had this journey in my own house where my relationship with my in-laws um was i got married into a very conservative household where my father-in-law would not look at me while while talking to me initially to the time where they would only want to talk to me and not the husband <laughs> right so that's a power that you have as a woman yeah. use yeah. it for yeah. the right yeah. things yes absolutely okay so we are going to get back to the spicier stuff now oh 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 so how did the first reel happen i'll uh, no i'll say what it is she will covid had hit <laughs> there was we were all like dying in the sense of yeah. just so frustrated mumbai was mad right i was right? stuck in this house with my husband who's never spent so much time with me and my mother in law who didn't really live with me yeah, i didn't she was just thrown in with me saying take care of her it's covid <laughs> so all of us on the same roof and i had a 6 month old baby mm. now in this but the baby adored me okay just saying yeah, yeah. she still does <laughs> and then somewhere i saw these reels come about and there were these trends Yeah. But you needed somebody with you. <laughs> yeah. So I went to my husband I said you know JLo and this Alex uh, something so Rodriguez funny. they did this really cool flip the switch <laughs> reel where the girl is dancing and switch the kiss and then the guy is dancing it'll be fun he looked at me and said are you crazy? <laughs> and that's Akshay for you. He is just she'll tell you he's just a shy boy he's very like oh I don't want to be part of this. And I was like what? And then suddenly of course when I think I said hi and she's like looking at me and I said you want to try? No, no. She actually asked her mother told her. Ha. Huh. Her mother said Why don't you ask your no, mother-in-law? No, Vidushi said it. Vidushi said my it. My manager, Vidushi. Ha. Hello. Ha. She was like, listen, I think you, you know, from whatever I hear on the phone, you're constantly like having this weird, quirky banter <laughs> with your mother-in-law. Sometimes I can't believe it. Why don't you just use that? 
So I said, okay. So I asked her to do the reel with me, and that reel went into millions. I don't think anybody could get over the fact that I did this. That most couples were doing it, and then suddenly I used her, which was very un like it was weird because mother-in-law having fun with you. Oh my God, and are you okay? I uh, I generally don't wear tights, and even if I wear tights, it's always something longish. She wasn't even tights. She was you wearing, wearing little black dress, black tights, which no, was extra, with a t-shirt, oh, it which was, was little extra, long. Extra, and she was just so like ah. And she said, <laughs> I, so she wore that, and she said, you'll have to wear this, and I'll wear your dress. And for a minute, I thought, yeah, I. And I mean, you know, you switch off the light and switch it on, and yeah. then magic. No, but no, but never tights were not worn. Okay, wow. I'm not a tights person. I'll be yeah. very honest. I love my skirts. So tight wear, ke upper t-shirt as a tight wala dal ke, man, I said. But the thing is, ghar pe the, and I was enjoying. So but I it said, started that whole try. thing where. Then everything we do yeah. that you see with couples, <laughs> we are the couple. <laughs> <laughs> we became so, the couple. <laughs> yeah. So I, I actually just mentioned it to somebody that they are a couple. Like yeah. the, it's, it's fun oh, how you do. It's so But then funny. <laughs> comes back to the fact that when it's Samira and now Manjuri, it cannot be conventional, right? It has to be unconventional. Yeah. Everything about this is so unconventional. Yeah. But it is so endearing to watch Thank because. You. For women, particularly, to see this relationship—I mean, I'm getting goosebumps when I say that—to <laughs> see so that much. relationship, which is, you know, I—it's I, very hard for even a mother and daughter to have that relationship. Yeah. But for you guys to to have this. So the fact that we had it, and then my manager, just isolating it and saying, "Is that for real?" Or oh, because she used to hear me, I'd talk to her, and then I'd be like, nah, and I'd say something to her, and she'd say something yeah. stupid right back, and she'd be like, "How do you talk to her like that? <laughs> do you really talk to her like that?" See, and that's yeah. when we understood. Wait a minute, we have something here. Yeah. And so, of course, the build-up was right in the beginning. I gave and I gave her like the name Sassy Sasu. Yeah. And 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 we became. I became Messy Mama. She asked me, "Why are you giving you know, uh, you know, us names?" And I said. It's property building. <laughs> yeah. I IP. Yeah, I feel like IP. that. Absolutely. <laughs> you know. And see, I was I was a very good student. I am a Bandrite convent educated. My father was excellent at languages. So, you know, th there is a certain educational level where you are witty, and you are not going to just let things pass. So every time she said something, she would get a retort. It was all fun and banter, banter. and, and we never involved Akshay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the funny yeah. part is, if he she wants never to figure to me, out, yeah. I never complained to her. You ever. know, Akshay com complains about her to me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't complain to him about her. <laughs> they fight more than me. <laughs> we That's do. So, we do. Yeah. They they fight a lot. They yeah. get on each other's nerves, and I we and I tell you, sometimes I laugh because we and our we don't. Our fights are very straight. It's yeah. straight to a yeah. point where I'll say something ridiculous. <laughs> And she'll wait for a second, and she was never like this. She used to sulk. <laughs> After five days, I would be told, you know, at that <laughs> moment you said this, and I didn't like it. But today she has no choice. And she yeah, knows I that I am very oh, unbashed, and there is such a it's it's clean. Yeah. There's no there's no that that. And I, with her also, I always yeah. felt there was no malice. There is no malice. She's a very clear-hearted girl, and she'll just bold though, just bold though. Arey, but think na. Yeah. I, I used to find it. Thoughtless. Jeep. I said, "Kaise bol diya?" Then I said, "You know, maybe she doesn't wait to think, and yeah. she just speaks from the heart." You know, I'll tell you something. I have a few things That's in my true. life that I was very, I was not comfortable with. For example, uh, I when I first joined films, I remember I was not com comfortable with dancing. Mm. So I had severe anxiety with it. And then I remember, like, this is before I got into films. And then this is what I do. I sit on the fence. I absolutely get scared. I freak out. I have meltdowns. I wait, and then I nose dive in, and then I go to a point where I want a PhD in it. It's very psychotic behavior. All your film dances, <laughs> by the way, are a point of reference even today. So, 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 so that's me. If I don't yeah. know something, I will hyperventilate about it, and then I will go in so strong that I will want to sort of essay it to another level where. Not that I'm trying to be smarter than anybody. I have to know and have control over it to make sure I perform in it. That's what happened with dance. That's what happened with acting. I think that's what's happened with most things in my life. The one place I was lacking, Preeti and Manjiri, was yeah. money. Yeah. I was so intimidated by it, 
and I was making potfuls of it in my career and I just go home and say Papa ye lo lo I don't know what to do with it uh-huh. dad just take it and my dad Mr. South Indian dad would put it in an FT <laughs> <laughs> and I said wow wow I'm doing something mind blasting oh it's in an FT yay uh-huh. <laughs> it's you secure know, it's, it's locked secure. away it's yeah. locked away you know yeah. and my dad would say itna ye mil rahe dekho dekho and the thing is it's not his fault because that's how my that's my, old school that's old school that's me okay yeah. which is like or fir if you come to a certain point yeah. you buy your property hmm. and that's exactly what i did yeah. hmm. so for the best years of my life i think that i earned very well and i just didn't want to hear about it i would even i would get scared i remember the ca was like ye bharna hai ye karna hai ye tax karna hai. I, i was like i don't understand just just just, just Do tell it. me to, i don't want to hear i don't want to hear So, I want to slap myself. Yeah, she should. But I'll tell you something very odd over here. I think her and my, I think your journey to learn money again came about because I came into your life four, five years ago. No. Yes. The mother-in-law speaks. The mother-in-law speaks. Absolutely <laughs> not. When I started living with you, that's when you started earning. So basically, my love changed <laughs> because she's living with me. And mine also changed. Are you dono ka hua na? Yes, yes. She was. <laughs> <laughs> So for years I think that I just gave it yeah. to my father and my sister who I trust with my life even of today. Of course. And I think at one point my sister was getting upset because then I got married. She said, "You know, just take it on. It's time. Yeah. It's time." And then, you know, Akshay was like, "Yeah, we can take it on. I'm pretty good with money." And Akshay, you know, he knows his mutual funds and this yeah. and that. But I said, "No, no, just let Papa handle it. I, yeah. I don't want to hear it." Yeah. So then I got married. Then I I had a child, and then you know again my elder sister, who's the boss of the house, she said, "Samira, it's time." Yeah, it's and time. each time she would come and tell me, I would get anxiety. Yeah. Because I didn't know whether I had it in me to even understand and take charge. This went on until I lost a lot of money in IIL and FS. Ah. Which was that big IIL FS. Yes. yes. And yeah. and I think when I got a hit of that amount, ooh, something just. Yeah. It just pierced, you know, because yeah. I wasn't earning then, and yeah. she was very upset. I was very upset, upset to course. another level. It's your hard-earned money, and right? And I think that at that time, the the broker and the company, the management company, just didn't give me any answers. In mm-hmm. fact, they were so, you know, yeah. I I got As angry, usual. and I think that set the match. Yeah, and I said, wait a minute. I am going to study this inside out. I want control of every rupee of mine, and I went in guns blazing. It took wow. me one year. It took me one year. I sat. I changed my CA. I changed like I can't tell you till today. My father and my sisters like, what are you doing? Yeah, I said they were in a state of I shock. I said I got this. Yeah. I don't want anyone to talk to me yeah. because that money is gone, and I don't want to know why it went. Yeah. yeah. What was that share that we took that did not make sense? I need to understand it. And so for about 2 years between that situation and covid all I did was move things around and start restructuring understanding mutual funds understanding SIPs understanding portfolio management equities a uh, gold you know everything I think I understood the whole game yeah and then interestingly when you know the whole uh, the whole market t- took a turn in turn. covid yeah. that's when I had the capacity and I started and it has been such an empowering powerful beautiful journey where i have just been enlightened i literally feel like this light has come on in my brain and i have understood in words like compounding and you know <laughs> and pms uh, you know and like all these things that would uh, throw me off this is what i want to say to women it is not intimidating it's actually really simple yeah and if you just give it a chance and you understand what it means you can also be a part of it and that's what happened to me and so it happened because i got one nice kick up <laughs> <laughs> and if i hadn't got it maybe i would have still been very yeah. complacent so quickly uh. girls get a sasu like me yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah right oh, the sassy sasu the sassy sasu yeah yeah no but what you uh, i think you very rightly pointed out because when we see um, you know when as lakshmi we talk to women most women actually take up money management after they faced an adversity always yes always and that is so um it's disturbing not right. you know this is again very it's it's behavior peculiar to women by the way hmm. men will put take all of that money and put it are, all in no no men are genetically risk takers Absolutely. we are not we are nurturers yeah but we are also we have the ability to i mean 
come on manjuri we give birth to children what could yeah. be a bigger risk than that exactly no? True. so i think we are not we are also risk takers but we we take risk we take informed risks yeah very we take calculated risks. very yes. safe risks yes and that is what makes us yeah. uh, amazing investors actually True. that could but be so true. proud of you thank you so super proud of you and I, and you know i that's what i said after what i went through i asked so many questions in fact i am very curious and always i need to understand yeah. the sebi guidelines yeah you know and when they and it's ridiculous because before i wouldn't even know what sebi was so have you understood the new fno guidelines of sebi uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk <laughs> about that after that this yes <laughs> but you know in general like the way they've even come around putting systems in place yeah. securing the investor, investors uh you know like especially like i remember the first time when i asked i said where will the money go on to nsc <laughs> will the company have it but if something goes wrong how will i get it back that's the only thing i wanted to know Yeah. and then i was happy to know that there's such a secure system which was the money was still in my name Absolutely. so if anything happened to the management shares and all were still held in my name in your name and i needed to hear this first i was like i remember i had this myth in my brain that like you know those big scams in america yeah. where people just say oh they took my money and they ran away yeah it's very different which you, which i would i'm sure as a community you explain to women who are investing yeah. that this is in your name Absolutely. And that is why it is nothing's going to happen to it. So I think two three things we tell women which is one that this is in your name. Second, you should put your money only in places or things that are regulated. Yes. That's very important and you're right. I think SEBI in our country is an amazing regulator. I think there's been enormous amount of work done over the years um to make to secure hard earned money which is put into investments uh and I think just understanding and asking those questions and where is this money going after a triple A rated company Bond, yeah went down I think I started asking crazy questions and which is why today I still ask those questions and you know when I do meetings with <laughs> companies where I want to know more about new instruments or say a PMS which is not premenstrual stress also <laughs> but <laughs> portfolio management so serv- services I ask them so many questions not because i'm like trying to say hey i know so much is because i want to know i am secured what is the worst i always say what is my worst, worst case scenario yeah yeah because i already want to know how much my sama can handle and that being said again with your explanation to all your in like the ladies out there is that it will always be balanced out because you know investing is not just aaj dala aur aaj nikala correct it it's a long term It's a long term, and I think uh, here you talk like this. I think sometimes I feel maybe we should exchange roles. Maybe you should sit here, Samira. <laughs> maybe you know. No, you it's should. getting very well informed. I it's see. It's not that. I tell you, it it's was it was an eye opener. I remember about five years ago when I had this very dear friend of mine, and he said, "This is how much tax you are paying the government from your <laughs> FDs." <laughs> and now, if you had put the same amount in mutual funds. there's something called compounded i said what's compounded yeah yeah what do you mean i could understand this thing no if you're not educated you don't know that i don't, I know. don't know this so compounded she's is she's trying very hard to educate you is where i got her no okay okay you just showed me your fd yesterday which yeah, so you were you really excited now. about i trust you now your, uh, you, you do you do you were so thrilled with that return I and was. i was just like ye kya hai this is one lunch somewhere yeah. I, I said, said this I is thousand rupees. I was so angry with her. At me. And I was explaining to her that the same money, if you had put in a mutual fund and left it, yeah, man. So I you broke. would not pay taxes on this amount right now. It would be compounded, as in the yeah. the rate no, no, I that seven thousand would be there. Okay. Then would be one lakh seven thousand. Yeah. Then would be one lakh fourteen thousand, and then it would just keep growing. And I said, when you take it out, but that's why you have Lakshmi, na? Uh-huh. People please hear this expert here. She started <laughs> she started learning in covid. Yeah. It's been like what 4 yeah. years yeah. and she's talking like an expert. Exactly. So I think I think the important thing is that it's not and we say this all the time. It's not complicated it's at not, all. No. Small steps but also a learning mindset. Yeah. The worst thing that you can do is when somebody tells you oh put your money there and you put it there. That's the worst thing to do. Yes. to learn about why is this person telling me to put my money here what does my money do here 
what does it do for me where does it go i think just asking those questions is good enough yeah, to course. get you started and and not only that you know preeti the most important thing i don't care if you're sitting on 15 lakhs 10 lakhs 5 lakhs 1 lakh if you have 1 lakh in your hand you put 10000 every month so that brings me to my question yes we want you to since you're the expert now i'm not i'm not <laughs> yes you are of course you are why you you should you are the last you person you should be very proud of yourself you you should be the last person to be shy about yeah. this achievement agreed i think own it i'm telling you this sabira right i would like right? to learn much more absolutely you, you but really? today i was most excited about this <laughs> podcast because when i understood you know what you do and who you are all i kept thinking is i told my manager i said oh i'm going to ask her so many questions it was like i was entering a nice juicy situation now girls love gossip yeah. i was like who oh, i'm going to go into and ask preeti 1 billion questions to learn more absolutely and i i we didn't realize this will be like a two way <laughs> questioning but very happy to answer and actually ask you as well and i think that's my next question to you our podcast is called the rich recipes mm. and it says money on the menu mm-hmm. uh-huh. right and if i were to ask you what is your money recipe to be wealthy okay uh if you were speaking to a lay person you know somebody who's not who doesn't who's who's just sort of stepping in what is the few things that you would tell her that what has been your your learning so far in the way you manage your money the way you decide where to put it what is that what does that recipe look like so obviously it's it's from person to person it changes but for me what happened is as i said i started out the very south indian safe way which was fds and i bought my first house and then after that i understood that now that i have that security everyone's like oh you should buy another property you know you live in goa yeah. i live in a rented house mm. i i live in a rented house now uh, with akshay are you not akshay. worried people tell you rented house my father so now is me <laughs> yeah. every and akshay every day yeah. he's like tum log rented house <laughs> mein reh rahe ho koi ego nahi hai log kya kahenge and i you know i want to make a t-shirt to my dad log kya kahenge <laughs> he's so worried and i said dad you would make me spend 5 to 6 crores on this house which i am paying this much percentage rent on now i have put that in the mutual fund market and this has been my return over 4 years of staying in goa and this is compounded and i am not paying tax on it and this is not how much bastora in goa has appreciated So you want to know in your South Indian manly heart that my daughter staying in, her, you know, her husband yeah. and hers house so happily. I said, but that money is making money, more money, and that is wealth. Yes, for every person and particularly every woman who learns to manage her money, her biggest regret is that I wish I knew about this earlier. So now it's time to make the conversation more powerful. I'm delighted and happy to invite someone who is at an early stage in her professional journey and would like to ask her questions and discuss her challenges. She is an influencer, a model, and a marketing professional. Welcome to the show Prerna. फैमिली बट इन अरेज मैरिज I always say it's very important. Like, okay, this nobody knows this, but before I met Akshay, 
I was very frustrated that year. I was like 31 and I was like, oh my God, you know, I'm not finding time to get a guy. So my parents looked for uh, guys. And, Secrets. Yeah. And then one, one uh, you know, this family came to the thing and they said, oh, you know, the boy's in New York. He's studying. Yay, boy, he's doing some masters, this, that. And then they said, the four sisters will come and see you. <laughs> <laughs> I said, what? And then he has Can four sisters. Can you imagine four women yeah. coming to see this, this woman? woman? Oh my God, dynamite. <laughs> I'm telling you that Neona. I had, that was the first setup before I get to meet the boy. The sisters want hmm. to meet me. <laughs> now, where I'm coming to you now, why I'm making, I'm giving you that comparison yeah. is immediately you will be able to understand who you're marrying and what you're marrying into. Because I didn't even make that meeting. I said, the fact that that boy doesn't want to see me first, he wants to send his four torpedoes. I'm like, I am not doing this. <laughs> I am running the other way. So I'm trying to tell you that when you go in there, not you will you always and not always will the person show your their best foot forward. So you'll have to go with more of a new age mindset of a mother-in-law who wants to change and be someone different for her daughter-in-law. Yeah. Because not everyone can have this, but they have to have the potential to have it. That's all. So you have to look for that, which is where your intuition comes in. I keep telling Preeti and Manjri, as women, as a young girl at 22, don't doubt your intuition. You will know when you know that that boy is right for you. You know that situation is right or wrong. So you will know if that mother-in-law can work <laughs> for you or not. Yeah. So what we have is because we were both independent financially. I was uh, also, well, I don't know how this works, but I didn't have any man in my life. Still don't have. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> so... For me, it was very easy to accept her because she was a working woman. She was a star, but it didn't matter. When she came home, she would go into my bathroom. She picked up her shampoo. I'm taking this home. Yeah, no, that was my you. shampoo. She took it home. So you but, have to have that. So, yeah, so I know what you're I saying. I don't know. So it took us some time, darling. It took us time. It didn't happen overnight. Yeah. Obviously. But the potential has to be done. I also have a question for you. So the thing is, I just started with my job and I'm just 22. I'm just like still understanding the process, how to manage my finance and everything. What is the one piece of advice you would like to give to girls who are young and just getting in there and making their money? So what is your advice to young girls? So I actually have, I'm going to tell you three things that you can, you should begin with. First of all, get yourself a health insurance because Anything that may happen, a medical emergency that may happen, if you have to pay out of your pocket, out of your savings, that's the huge disservice you do to your hard-earned money. So get yourself a decent health insurance. Buy a plain insurance. It doesn't matter. You don't have to take a very complicated, any complicated, just a plain vanilla, you know, health insurance. Second, build yourself an emergency fund, which is at least six to eight months of your living expenses kept aside in a mix of maybe a savings bank account and a debt fund so that it at least grows decently. And the third thing is, which nobody at your age thinks of but should, is to start building yourself a retirement. And how do you do this? You know, you can do all of this, your emergency fund and retirement fund with even like 500 rupees, 1000 rupees a month. Right. And the best way to do it, like we discussed, is SIP. SIP. <laughs> Start with a mutual fund SIP. Uh, your retirement SIP should be into an equity fund. And of course, come on to the Lakshmi app. We've got everything <laughs> done. But uh, do big. Begin your financial security the day you start earning your life. That's the most important thing that I can tell young girls. Thank you. So my last question is to you again. I wanted to know, like, I have seen your reel on Instagram where you talk about SIP. I wanted to know what reaction did you get from the audience and how was it? And like, was it something different? What you expected from or like? I think that what was interesting and though I put it in the caption, ki what does SIP stand for? You know, systematic investment plan. Yeah. Uh, I think a lot of people weren't even reading the caption. <laughs> they, they, if they, first of all, I think the reel also spoke about the most ridiculous thing I had done in my life in terms of how much money I had spent. So there was, there was, there was some response to that. And then when all that, you know, it came to 
what is SIP and what do you mean? Because I, I said, yes, I remember this. I said, you can start with 500 rupees. Now, 500 rupees is something very realistic. We all can start with. And they couldn't understand. They're like, really, we can get to somewhere with 500 rupees. Can we really just start with 500 rupees? Because people have this notion ki, you know, big investors, karodo ka paisa, ye, wo, you know, they're starting with lakhs and lakhs. And when you say you can start with 500, that confusion came in their brain. They're like, what? Tell us more. And that reel got shared so many times where I felt and, and that the lack of education and the lack of the fact that we don't know that something so basic exists is, is, is why I think that, that, that the reel got shared so much. Uh, in fact, that's how, you know, we started talking and, and we're here today to talk to young girls like you to tell you all, don't make the mistakes that someone like me did. You would think as an actress, I knew it all. But I was just busy making the money and dancing around trees. I was not doing anything with that money. With the money. <laughs> you know, uh, so that's where I think that the education is so required. So at a Preeti, very early level. maybe 22 year olds and nearly 70 year olds. I know nothing about SIP either. I think maybe we need to take that whole comprehensive belt and teach all of us. I think we need to do a reel with a dance step. <laughs> You know, we do Y-N-C-A-S-I-I-P. <laughs> yeah, I seriously, I know nothing about this. So done. That's the next tree. <laughs> and, uh, and I think that's what we do as Lakshmi. We really make this, see, it is simple. Yeah. We break all the myths around it being okay. complicated and say it's very simple. You can begin with small amounts of money. And... It is actually very time efficient. It doesn't even require a lot of women don't do it because they feel, Arya, who has the time? I'll have to give so much time. If you start small, begin with learning, of course, but that learning, even within the two hours that we do the boot camp, you understand. True. And then it's only I can teach you. We can teach you so much swimming outside the water. Mm. If you don't jump into the water, you'll never. Can so it? start by once you put in your 500 rupees, trust me, you will go an extra mile to learn about it. Of course, it. you'll mm. follow it up. It's your money. So absolutely. So yeah, but we do boot camps. No. Would, we have to make her attend one boot camp. You attend my boot camp first. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know. No, it's not working. Ask her how much I had uh, to tell her about yeah, health insurance. Yeah, she, she, you know when you said it, we both on we both almost burst out yeah. laughing. Oh it was my ridiculous. God. Ridiculous. And every year she still comes We still tries. fight. You know, There's nothing's going to happen to me. Thousand rupees you want me to put? I can buy myself something. You go into hospital now, you'll see 50,000 no, rupees. No, no, like I said, which is why. See, sometimes what happens <laughs> is when you tell your children or your family something, na, ke ye mat karu. like I used to tell my father in law, don't eat sugar because he was, you know, on that borderline. Diabetic. That, yeah, yeah. You would not listen. But when the doctor said, yeah. don't eat sugar. Doctor. So which is not, I, <laughs> I hardly have sugar. It's not thoda, sugar. Thoda no, thoda but it was, it was, and so, I remember how much I had to convince her to do that health insurance. She still thinks yeah, she's I invincible. No, we'll I still think it's a big waste of money. money. Yeah, yeah. We'll talk. Yeah. I need that money. Insurance. Yes. Thank you, Prerna, so much. Wonderful to have you. And may you inspire many, many young women like yourself to really ask these questions. I think we're delighted. Absolutely. Absolutely. Delighted to have you. Thank you so much for thank you so much for having me. It was amazing meeting you. I hope this advice is with me. I also have a mother in law like you. And a daughter in law. I give them a daughter in law like her. Yeah. And also like you are very inspiring and everybody moves. Thank you. So are you. Aren't we all? Yes. Absolutely. Thank you so much for tuning into the rich recipes. I hope you found today's conversation with Samira and Manjri as inspiring, spicy and fun as I did. Remember, taking control of your journey, whether it's your finances or personal growth, is all about small, empowered steps, but fierce ones. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, stream the episodes on Spotify or your favorite podcast platform. Until next time, keep stirring up your own recipe for success. I'm Preeti Rati Gupta and I'll see you in the next episode.